Hi, today we're going to see how to create the 3D text effect in GIMP. So first we need to create a new image, go to File, New. The image width is 1920 and the height is 1080, press OK. And now press the minus key on your keyboard to zoom out. And now I'm going to change the background here to black here. So just drag the foreground color like this. And now I'm going to turn the foreground color to white. So I'm just going to click on these arrows here to switch between the foreground and background. And now select the text tool, left click here on the layer to create a new text box. And now I'm just going to type the text here, 3D text, and then Control A to select all the text. And now I'm going to change the font size to 400 and then press enter. The font I'm using is impact condensed. And here are the settings I'm using for the text here. So here it is. And now I'm going to align the text layer here in the center. So Select the alignment tool, left click here, and let's align it horizontally and then vertically like this. And now I'm going to create selection from the text. So right click on the text layer, alpha to selection. And now create a new transparent layer. So click on this icon here, fill it with transparency and then press OK. And now I'm going to hide the 3D text, the text layer here, this one here. If you want to remove these squares here, just select another tool like this. And now I'm going to change the foreground and background colors. So I'm going to select the foreground color, double click on the HTML notation, and then type 1EB7E3, press enter. And now click on the background color, double click on the HTML notation. And then I'm going to type 1E47E3, press enter, and then press OK. And now select the gradient tool. Make sure the gradient is FG to BG RGB and the shape is linear. And now I'm just going to trace a gradient like this. And now I want the light blue on top here. So I'm just going to click here to reverse the gradient. So like this. So here I'm just going to make it straight and then select another tool here to confirm the gradient. And now I'm going to remove the selection. So go to select, none to remove the selection. And now I'm going to delete the text layer here we created before. So click on the X icon here, and then select the gradient text here. I'm going to name it text. So double click on the name here. Let's name it text, press enter. And now right click on it, and then alpha to selection to make selection from the text. And then I'm going to increase the selection. So go to select, grow. I'm going to increase it by six pixels. So just type here six, and then press OK. And now I'm going to create a new transparent layer. So click on this icon here. Fill it with transparency, press OK. And now place it under the text layer, this one here with the gradient. So click on this icon here. And now I'm just going to select the gradient tool and make the same gradient, but to reverse it. So this time I'm going to place the dark blue here on top. So just trace the gradient here from the bottom, from top to bottom, sorry. And now just click here to reverse the gradient. So here, and now select another tool to confirm the gradient. So go to select, none to remove the selection. And now I'm going to name this text layer here with the outline here. I'm going to name it outline here, press enter. And now I'm going to duplicate this outline layer here. So click on this icon here and then select the bottom one here. So this one, I'm going to name it shadow. So here, press enter. And now I'm going to add a long shadow to it. So go to filters light and shadow, long shadow. So I'm going to keep the angle to 45. I'm going to change the color to white to be able to see here, then press OK. And for the length, I'm going to reduce it to 32 here, press Enter. So here it is. And now press OK here. So here are the settings I'm using. The style is finite and then press OK. And now right click on the shadow layer and make selection from it. So select alpha to selection. And now I'm going to create a new transparent layer. So click on this icon here, fill it with transparency and then press OK. And now I'm creating a new transparent layer. So to make the gradient here to color the long shadow because sometimes it will create a white outline here because of the white shadow here. So I'm going to hide it, hide the shadow layer here, this one here. And now I'm going to change the foreground and background colors. I'm going to select darker colors. So select the foreground color, double click on the HTML notation. And now I'm going to type 0E24A2, press enter. 
and then press OK. And for the background, click on the background, double click on the HTML notation, and then type 0A225A and press enter, press OK, sorry. And now select the gradient tool and then just drag from top to bottom here to, of the selection like this and still reverse the gradient here. So I'm going to make the darker blue color, the dark blue color in the bottom layer, in the bottom side here. So I'm going to leave it like this. So select another tool to confirm the gradient. And now go to select, not to remove the selection. And now I'm going to delete the shadow layer here. We don't need it anymore. I'm going to hide these ones here to see. This one here, we don't need it anymore. So click on the X icon here. So now select, let's show our layers here again. And now I'm going to merge these text layers here. So click on this icon here to merge down here the layers one time and then the second time. And here is our text here. And now I'm going to add the border to this text. So right click on it, alpha to selection. And now go to select here border. I'm going to add the 30 pixel border with the border style smooth. Press OK. And now I'm going to create a new transparent layer fill it with transparency and then press OK. And now place this layer under the text layer here, this one here, like this. And now I'm going to fill it with white. So click on these squares here to change the foreground and background colors to black and white. And then just drag the white color here, make sure you are on the new transparent layer. So here it is, and now go to select, none to remove the selection. And now I'm going to change the background color first. So select the background layer here. And now I'm going to select the foreground color here like this. Double click on the HTML notation. And I'm going to type 1E82E3, press enter, and then press OK. And now I'm going to change the background color. So click on the background, double click on the HTML notation. And now I'm going to type 1857E8, press enter, and then press OK. And now select the gradient tool, and as before, FG to BG for the gradient and the shape is linear. And then I'm just going to drag the gradient. So like this, I think I will leave it like this and then press enter. You can still change the color here. So if you want a dark, a darker color, so like this, so here. And now just trace here, so like this. So here it is and then press enter. And now I'm going to add a drop shadow here to the blue text here. So select the blue text, this one here and then go to filters, light and shadow, drop shadow. So here it is. Now I'm going to increase the opacity a little bit like this. And then I'm going to move the drop shadow. I'm going to move it a little bit to the left here like this. So here, and then increase the opacity. So I think I'm going to leave it like this, press okay. And now we're almost done. You can also add a small drop shadow to the border layer here, to the white text here, so select it. Then go to filters, and then click on ratio drop shadow. And then I'm just going to add a simple drop shadow, this one here. So like this, I'm just going to move it a little bit like this. So here, and then press OK. And then select the top layer, right click on it, and then new from visible. And uh, here it is. That's how you can create a 3D text effect in GIMP. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and uh, till next time.